sun is shining, <laughs> not yet birds are singing and what made me wake up at 6.30 a.m. in the morning? Guess what? Driving classes and in manual. That's what I'm gonna learn. <laughs> That's thing that I forgot how to do. It's my second lesson and I feel really excited about it. the proofs <laughs> it's been a while since I haven't taken the scooter to go to work <clears throat> I have been sick for one week and then it's been raining a lot so I prefer to take the metro rather, rather than the scooter and Paris for me suddenly all of a sudden it got green everything is green it's and I've been a lot of energy because of that and also like day got longer For you to show that um, yeah, traffic jams in Paris, they do exist. I'm just avoiding them, avoiding feeling them. Oftentimes in small, uh, <laughs> small streets it's because of the garbage collector machine, or car, <laughs> I don't know how it's called this vehicle. And basically, when there is only one lane, uh, all of the traffic stops because this vehicle stops to collect the garbage. Besides uh, green Paris, suddenly green Paris, uh, which I was super excited about this morning. Um, the other thing, which is kind of forgotten feeling, which appeared today, is to come back home when it's still the day, with the daylight, especially this day when it's sunny and warm.
actually feeling extremely tired and probably you can see this on my face, probably not. Um, this camera makes things better than the eye in reality, sometimes cinematic. <laughs> um, but that's how life is and I'm trying to do it as raw and natural, unfiltered as possible. And the reality is that I'm like, like a squeezed lemon at the end of the day. It's 7.30 p.m. I've just got back from work. Um, and even though with all of the sun and everything, I do feel more energy at the end of the day. Like, I don't know if I would be able to do anything except dinner <laughs> and maybe read in a book. Even though, like, my brain, I do want to do a lot of stuff, but it's hard, it's hard. But then at the end of the day, I'm just, yeah, Anna, you woke up at 6.30 a.m. to have two hours of concentrated driving because I was learning to drive again. Uh, and then you got to work and the day was actually harsh because we had a lot of meetings and this is actually the part of software engineering job that I do not appreciate. Even though I assume, I understand that these meetings were important. Like we had a demo in the morning of uh, some of our team members and we have this meeting. It's a recurrent meeting, but it's not every day or every week. It's like when somebody has something to share. And it's definitely not the time wasted because you learn. Uh, then we had meeting a cross team meeting. Um, I'm working on a feature which is kind of across a lot of teams that I don't know and we discuss some points you know pain points that we haven't thought about at the beginning when the design has been made um, and I felt dumb <laughs> at this meeting because I'm still feeling junior and this kind of high level stuff of things to be done in an architectural level it's it's harsh for me and I know that this is the thing that I have to work on in order to progress as a software engineer in order to grow uh, this is something that I have to design my own projects and meanwhile I have to learn like you know read some books on the design patterns and everything uh, but as I told you at the end of the day I have no energy and it sucks. I have it planned, probably step by step. Right now I'm focused more on life. <laughs> uh, I'm learning to drive. I wanted to film this vlog and probably I'm gonna edit it this evening. Um, and there is no room for extra work stuff for today. And anyway, I have no energy for that. And also we had a huge meeting uh, which is called postmortem. it's when you have a service disruption it means that your service haven't worked for a certain amount of time in production and this was a serious one um, it's the first time I've encountered, I've encountered, I've encountered this uh, so we discuss how not to uh, have this kind of situation in the future even though in the end we <laughs> kind of came to the point that we couldn't have avoided this thing that happened maybe at some point but we could have but we did our best you know <sighs> and this is very energy consuming meetings are very energy consuming um, yeah, that's basically it that I wanted to share with you. Um, let me know what you think of this format of more kind of raw vlogs. If you have any questions, maybe if you want to me to share more on topics that 
I've shared with you, you know, this team meetings, how days of software engineer are organized. And yeah, one important thing that I forgot to share why I'm feeling exhausted as well and why I don't like meetings is that at the end, I'm kind of frustrated, not frustrated, I'm not satisfied of the day, of the working day, because I feel like I haven't done anything because I didn't basically have time to concentrate on coding. I did small stuff, but I haven't finished, I haven't completed things that what I wanted. And yeah, this, this very tough feeling of not doing the best what you could, but at the same time you couldn't because you had your time taken by meetings. <sighs> yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching and see you in my next vlogs, next videos. Bisous!